the peninsula this Earth Day weekend in search of some treasure. Uh, perhaps today is the best day to go I looking. I would think. It seems like it anyway. Yeah. And hopefully you'll have better luck than we've had trying to find that beach glass. Yeah, I think, I think some people just have a knack for doing that. And our Megan Selensky is live down at Prescott State Park. She caught up with one of those uh, folks who have that knack for locating that beach glass. And she's live with some advice on how us, uh, can, us uh, you know, strugglers in yes. finding beach glass can maybe <laughs> find some of our own. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Well, it's absolutely gorgeous and a perfect day to go searching for some sea glass. And if you're like me and struggle to find it, I got some advice from Maria Smith on just how to locate some of that sea glass. Maria Smith has spent years hunting for treasure, but she wasn't given a map or an X marking the spot. Uh, look everywhere, not just in the sand. Look in the rocks. Look where rocks have collected. Um, so when I get to the beach, my head is down and I'm just searching. You know, I don't look up until I'm ready to leave. Over the years, Smith has learned many tricks to finding sea glass. The best time to look is after a storm, or if you're crazy like me, you come out when it's raining and stormy. Smith tells us that everything that you find is treasure in its unique way, but there are some specific signs to signal what you discovered is actually beach glass. Well, I always tell people that if it's not jagged on the edges, then it's an actual piece of beach glass. Some people call it sea glass, but the longer that it's in the water, the less jagged the edges are. Well, Smith gave us some great tips, but still finding that sea glass can be a struggle. So our Erie News Now team wanted to make the search a little easier. So we actually painted some rocks for you. So you're able to continue that search and hopefully have something a little more easier to see. Mark, I have one here for you. So you're gonna have to come down later this morning to come find it. From Presque Isle, Megan Selensky, Erie News Now. And did you catch her message though? No. Her rock says, you rock. Ah, there you Clark. go. That was a good one. So, <laughs> yeah, pretty cool stuff. You know, I've heard and various bottles and jars will produce various beach glass. I've heard those old school yeah. Noxzema, the facial soap, oh, used to come yeah. in those big, heavy blue jars back in the day, yeah. can produce some pretty cool beach glass. Oh. And I would imagine those jars have been out there long enough to do that. Yeah, that's interesting.